best choice for award-winning coverage of local news and sports since 1993. Where the people, the places, and the events of your community, the New Jersey Capital Region can be seen and heard. WCBN TV News, hometown news that matters most to you. Another rally with that, Miriam Davenport. Trenton residents rallied again today, this time in front of the Trenton Police Department. Police say they're just doing their job, but Trenton residents want to know why that involves a blatant disrespect for African American lives. Rallying for injustice, Trenton residents here say they are tired of the mistreatment they and members of their community have received by the Trenton Police Department. We have families out here of two of the victims, but other families of victims over the past two or three years that have been affected by police brutality. And we're trying to expose it. We want the mayor to at least say something to the families and not be unbalanced in how you address the issue. The police are kind of getting a free pass. Once the mayor said, be more engaging, that translated to they can do whatever they want. It don't make no sense. These cops, they think they can go around here and do this and do that because they got a badge and gun. No, it don't work like that. And if don't nobody stand up and do what we doing, then they gonna keep on doing it. It got to be justice for the town of Trenton and not for only Trenton, my daughter's father, Corey Brown. Residents believe Trenton police are running amok in the city of Trenton with no direction. Let one of us kill one of them. We'd be under the jail. They kill one of us. They, they just want suspended, still get paid, come back to the fourth. They come back out here and look a dawn on us like <laughs> we just killed one of y'all. What y'all gonna do? Faith Carter says the story the cops are giving as to what happened to her husband when he was recently shot by police is fabricated. She said they planted the gun on him and she's going to prove it. My husband was just walking away from the cops and the cops started shooting at him. So then he got shot down. Once he got shot down, he fell against the wall. They beat him up. Why? I don't understand why is this going on. Like, they just think they can do whatever they have to do to people or whatever they want to do to people. It's irrelevant. I mean, like, I don't care about his past, whatever he had. The cop was well known that didn't like my husband. You know what I mean? He was one of the cops that got beat up two, three weeks ago. Why was he on foot patrol? He should have been on desk patrol. So that means he's retaliating to any and everybody that he's sick. I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it, and I'm not going to let it go. Well, so far, they haven't told us anything. We going by what the news tells us. They won't talk to us. Won't nobody talk to us. Why do you think that is? If they're covering up something, they got to be. In speaking with the Trenton Police Department, officials there say that both matters are still under investigation. They encourage anyone with information to contact the Trenton Police Confidential Tip Line at 609-989-3663. Reporting from Trenton, Miriam Davenport.